All right, so we're checking out the only game where you get to mix alien aphrodisiac inside of people's hand sanitizer. It's the chemist. Continue game, dammit. You can always tell it's Gray's desk when there's like 30 random chemicals just sitting across it. So the last time we opened up the drug area, which is possibly the greatest area in this entire building. And with it, we now have the power to mix stuff like extraterrestrial cocaine and Viagra inside of seemingly normal items. Chicken soup is better when it's filled with hallucinogens. <laughs> Here we go, an energy drink. Tired, does your desire to live drain away at the end of the day? This drink will make you forget the need for sleep. Remember, if your mind can bear it, your heart will follow. This sounds like something I want to mix terrible things into. Here we go, delicious meth oil. It's a sedative, it also causes unstable behavior. Actually, wouldn't this be the exact opposite of an energy drink jokes on them i was wondering where i left my herd cook cleaner <laughs> now anytime you make an energy drink you want to start with a healthy dose of meth right about there i don't remember what half of these things are actually a little pepper spray in there I'll give it some kick people won't know what to do they're gonna get sedated by the drugs and then they're gonna get hit with the hot wing sauce i just noticed there's a perfectly good canister of 32 week old yogurt here. Mm. It's yogurt. It's already aged, right? Uh, a little ammonia in here, I think, would do well. Don't want to lose our sedative. All right, it's ready to go. I'm going to tell you what, we've got ourselves a delicious mixture of meth sedative. <laughs> Ambrosia, I think there's some hot pepper in there. And uh, what the hell, a little bit of ammonia. That's what we have here is a uh, mess. I wanted to write on my whiteboard, but now for some reason, whenever I write on it, it doesn't go away. <laughs> so it's just horrible cursive. I have no doubt that our energy drink is gonna solve the, damn it, is gonna solve the world's problems. Traditional trend in Russia, the Slav squat. This tradition, which has been going on in Slavic countries for many years, is spreading to the world with the internet. So the sales of the track suits, which are considered official Slav squat suit, have increased significantly. That sounds comfortable, I guess. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I want to make a bubble bath that dissolves people's skin. Crap. Well, to be fair, I guess I do have a couple of extra glasses over here that I can get rid of. I got a bunch of ammonia left over. It seems like a good idea for a bubble bath, so we'll start with that. We're gonna need to get the aphrodisiac in here, too, for the bubble bath. Crap. All right, good old sulfuric acid. You gotta give it a real quick taste test. Ah! Yep, tastes perfect. Since we've already got the aphrodisiac in there, we might as well put a little bit of this in there, too. Aphrodisiac bubble bath going to the masses, baby. Cola, secret formula, but not unpredictable. This is the world's most consumed soft drink, even softer than water. Everyone knows and drinks it. If we fail, we can easily change the stickers and use it as polisher or cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> News regarding your bubble bath formula. My dreams came true. <laughs> Aphrodisiac bubble bath, baby. Badman666 says, I always wanted a sparkling scene like in the movies. If you want to join me in this wet, slippery, and hazy scene, just PM me. Everyone's having sex because of my bubble bath. <laughs> We're changing lives. Okay. People may say that we're just screwing around making stuff that sometimes kills people or melts their their skin. But that that man is happy now because he's, he's reliving an ecstasy over and over again. All right, Coca-Cola. We need something that's tasty and something that's very corrosive. Hold on, I'm sure there's a drug that fits within this. We can finally make Coca-Cola with cocaine the way it was always meant to be made. Oh, God, I don't have time for your crap. What is it? Mr. Clean, <laughs> shroom sauce. <laughs> we need to add some color to the world because why not? We need a totally organic substance because you know that the organic is a trend nowadays, right? You got 21 minutes to make it happen. Hold on, I'm, I'm doing something with the Coca-Cola, buddy. This is it right here. Illegal paraphernalia causes vivid colors, sudden emotional changes, and long-term use can cause permanent brain damage and heart failure. It's basically Coca-Cola. That's, that's all it really is. All right, we need something tasty and something lightly scented. Not a lot of flavor, but it's got some good scent. 
This calls for some chlorine. Okay, I think it's possible that some of the hallucinations have already started. What the hell is going on over here? Jesus. Stop it. Stop. 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 Inside the world's largest cat pictures museum, man built because somebody had to do it. A former hipster has collected the world's largest collection of cat pictures with nearly 30,000 pictures on display at the first museum ever dedicated to the furry friends of people. Why am I seeing this news is perfect, Marcus Spam. <laughs> All right, cocaine cola going out. Enjoy your hallucinations. Canned soup, Mr. Chubby Foods says being lazy has never been so delicious. Canned soup is lifesaver for every couch potato. Good flavors and quality ingredients. Stay lazy, quality ingredients, hey? Artificial additive is one of the things it has to have in it. <laughs> Plant-based extract, which contains high sugar, commonly used for adding taste to bitter medicines, also used for recreational drugs for its side effects. It's a stimulant and an opioid. It's perfect. All right, just gotta clean some of this up. Powdered eggs, sure. I really don't care what it tastes like. I just want people to get high off it. Perfect. Stimulants, opioids, eggs, artificial additives, every flavor known to mankind. This is what the world needs. Heroin chowder. I can't wait for the first taste testings of heroin chowder to come back. What a five star soup recipe. News regarding your canned soup formula. What is the proper consumption? Hot or cold? Who cares? You could smoke it for all I care. Wine soup. Soup addict Linda says a grape soup. Which culture's cuisine is this? I'm asking because I'm gonna stay away from it. Listen, lady, the grape is only part of the glory of this soup. See, this is our soup's mascot here. That's supposed to be a giant syringe, even though it kind of looks like a massive butcher's blade. What is up with the soup? Sour fruity soup. I almost found what it is with this canned soup. I think it's a cherry, like the sourness and the aroma. Okay. I appreciate that everyone's focusing on the taste and not the fact that they feel like strangling a horse or something like that after they drink it. Here, ginger ale. Should be able to screw this up nice and good. Now we do need some legitimate ginger in the ginger rail. Just enough for it to say ginger though. What the hell was that? Well, I just had like a friggin' flash news article sound on my screen. News regarding your canned soup, winter soup. Who prefers to take vitamin pills when the vitamin is in your soup? The reason for this soup being healthy is about the orange. I have every single fruit inside of that soup. How is nobody commenting on the fact that every time they take a swig of this soup, they test positive at their job for drugs? A base liquid of the doping for cockroach races is absolutely illegal and if you are one of those people who are in the cockroach racing business you might want to stay away from it sounds perfect for ginger ale oh i've actually got a little bit of the aphrodisiac that was left over too some call it ginger ale i call this ginger hell a little stimulant opioid a little bit of that aphrodisiac in there just gotta clean off the table a little bit here the name of this ice cream manufacturer is Overdose Munchies Incorporated. I have to make this. Ain't nothing like opioid ice cream to start your day. <laughs> An adhesive inside of your ice cream. I don't see the issue here. I think we're on track for a hell of an ice cream here. Cookies and opium. <laughs> there we go. Willy Wonka would be proud. Hey, my blackboard works again. Never mind. No, it doesn't. Great, I tried to write ice cream, but now it's just ice cream with a giant tumorous growth hanging off of it. Yay, my whiteboard works again. I don't know why it keeps breaking. Sour cream plus depression equals dour cream. Get it? Whipped cream. Almost nutritious foods. Our whipped cream stocks are running out fast for some reason that we cannot explain at the moment. We need to start producing ASAP. Oh, you're gonna get whipped something. I don't know if this is gonna have the correct chemical composition, but I've got a lot of excess drugs laying around. I think I'm just gonna mix them all into one single beaker. A little bit of this. Let's go. Ah, oh, look, we got some of the, the chlorochrysanthemum benzinatates or whatever. Get that out of there. I don't even know what the hell was in this. Whatever, we'll put that in as well. 
the fact that just throwing all that in there is pretty close to what we legitimately need is somewhat scary. Damn it, it has to taste like vanilla. Moist bomb, moist keeper. This is perfect because it's not like anyone eats whipped cream anyway, so you might as well be able to give your skin satiny smooth texture because that's where you're gonna use it, right? Whipped cream is a pain in my ass to balance. I'm never doing this again. Screw this, I'm putting a bunch of menthol in here to balance all this out. There we go. There's vanilla in it, it totally counts. Whipped scream. I know what sort of freaking bondage stuff you guys are using this for, you can't lie to me. Any kind of roaches that end up inside of the mixture, it's just added flavoring. Don't worry, they'll be ground up nice and, nice and smooth. I'm not gonna lie, if I dropped that bottle right there, I'd probably shoot myself. Diaper rash cream. This cream instantly forms a protective layer on your baby's skin to smooth and relieve rash discomfort. Now you can spend more time neglecting your child, basically. Hold on, I feel, I feel like a rash cream like this, if you want your child to stop crying, really needs a strong sedative. Uh, what do we got here? Stimulant? No, it's no good. Ah, perfect. Glowing ghoul. It's also a hallucinogen, but the child will probably enjoy that anyway. I'm gonna throw a little chlorine in there because it'll clean the child at the same time. So you've got a sedative, a hallucinogen, polish, varnish, soap, moisturizer, irritation care, scar care, shut up down there! A disinfectant and a solvent. It's got everything. I needed to throw a little extra something in there, so I threw some sulfuric acid in there because I had it laying around. It's actually the perfect combination if you think about it, because whoever it's applied to, as they're melting, they'll be sedated. So they won't even really fight their own disappearance from this world. Skin melting cream. I'm not saying that's what the name it's gonna be sold under. I'm just being honest when I sell it to the buyer. Enjoy. Good job. <laughs> I love seeing that when I create something like that. News regarding your diaper rash cream formula. Corrosive rash cream scandal. A rash cream which reacts with urine damages the skin. The manufacturer blames the material supplier. Don't you have any quality control? Come on, guys. Well, there you go. We did it. From sexy bath soaps. <laughs> to skin melting diaper rash cream. <laughs> I think that uh, we've made some real products that the world can enjoy. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Chemist. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.